Hey, what's up, guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to some more Call of the Wild. We're going to be doing some more of the story mode here on Tiora. Check our mission log from the last episode. We did, it looks like, one, two, three, six missions, and we're going to try and do five or six missions again today. Right now, we have to head over to, uh, looks like, reach the Cracked River Cave. So that's where we're going to head right now. Let's go on over there and see what it's all about and in the last video i didn't leave in a lot of the dialogue if you want to see a dialogue story and stuff i'm sure there's other channels i think fooster and a few other channels are doing them i'm not going to leave in any of the dialogue just because it makes the videos really long the dialogue's kind of boring and i'm mainly just trying to do these missions just to get them out the way and unlock the uh, special weapon skin that you can get for the 303 so let's head over here to the cave and see what it's all about um all right i don't know where this cave is exactly it's supposedly somewhere around here oh i think i'm actually on the wrong side of it and hopefully i don't die from this oh okay we fell into the water okay we're good all right we're good we're good oh here it is all right, well, this is the cave that I've seen them post about on their Twitter or something. It's supposed to be some kind of special cave where you go in one side and it looks like this, and then you go through it, and it looks like a whole new place. Maybe I should have grabbed a four-wheeler instead. <laughs> we'll, we'll see about grabbing something here in a second, but I'm going to go grab a picture of this for thumbnail purposes. All right, I got a tent placed down. I'm going to grab a four-wheeler because running through that will probably take a very long time, and this is just going to make things go just a little bit faster now let's head in here and see what this cave is all about so take a look around us see what kind of environment we got on this side and let's see what happens when we pop out through the other side to the walls and get that flashlight on well i have uh lights on my four-wheeler kind of a rush a rough ride but um kind of bumpy but we're gonna make it work unless the four-wheeler just uh you know gets flooded we need to get a snorkel on this thing <laughs> But we should be okay if we have to get off and run, then that's all right. Honestly, it might be easier to run, but we'll, we'll go as long as we can on the four-wheeler. This is really cool, though. It's it's nice to see these, like, you know, unique parts of these maps. I really like them, how, you know, every map typically has something on them that's kind of unique. Like, you know, you got Yukon with the burnt forest. You got this map. We got a cool, awesome cave here, which is pretty neat. I believe Parque Fernando has a couple caves and stuff on them, too. So it's cool to see things like this. I don't know if there's any, like, Easter eggs on here. Ooh, we got something right here. Take a look at this. I don't know if this is anything for the story. Oh, interact. Oh. Oh, maybe this is part of the, uh, the, the, the movies and stuff. The what kind of proper equipment? What what would you need for this? What, what do you mean? The loves and a mask? What? Hey, I want, I want that sword, though. Imagine if you could take that and just go slay some animals with it. That'd be sick. I would totally do that. Go cut a turkey's head off with that big ass long sword. I'd be all over that. All right, we got two ways to go here. I don't know which is the best way to go. It looks like probably this way. Looks kind of deep over there, so we're gonna we're gonna take the right path. Take a look on your right, a little further ahead. Okay, you talking about this stuff, or are you talking about over here? Oh, I see something right here. What is this? Go ahead, get us as close as you want. Just don't touch it. Hmm, well, let me take a picture of it because it's kind of cool. Oh, uh, yeah. That's cool. It looks like a looks like a boat with like maybe some people on it. This guy's got a paddle. That guy's got a paddle too. It's kind of cool. All right, she finally stopped talking. So we're going to go up this way. Looks like we're finally going to be out. She said, that's what she said, uh, let's get us out of here anyways. And it looks like we're in a whole new section of the map. TT, I don't even know what that said. Some kind of, something that I can't pronounce, so we'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad that I took the four-wheeler because I would still be running if I would, if I would have uh, gone on foot. The four-wheeler is definitely the way to go. And it looks like we are out. We just popped out here in the middle of a forest. Boom. That's kind of cool. That's like really hidden down there. Let's check it out real quick. Um, you would probably walk past this if you were just out here hunting. You'd definitely stumble past that. All right, well, there's that mission complete. Let's see what else we have to do once she uh, talks some more, and we'll figure out the next mission, our next uh, thingy. Collect traps, lay the traps, take down the 1080, 1080 warning sign, inspect the footprints. 
Uh, right. Looks like we have a box of box. traps, right? It looks like we need to place these things somewhere in the ground or something, wherever, wherever we can. I don't know where. It's not giving me any options anywhere. There we go. There's one. Boom. What kind of traps are these? What are, what are, what are these? I don't understand. I don't get it. She didn't even talk about this either. She wasn't like explaining what they were. There's the last one. Interesting. I don't know what these are. I don't. I don't know what those do. I. I don't know. They're some kind of trap, apparently. I don't really get it. Let me know if you guys know how those work. Uh, it looks like we have to take down a sign. We can actually get off of that still. We're just like right here, apparently. A 1080 warning sign. All right. Because we're taking this down because it's okay to hunt in the area again. Well, I've been. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of that without taking the sign down, so, uh, send me to jail, I guess. So, what does it say? Warning. 10, oh, 1080 poison. Sodium fl fluorescitate. Uh, you know, words. Do not touch bait. Watch children at all times. Okay. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, yeah, I see something. Homo sapien? That's not a homo sapien. That's definitely not a homo sapien. Wait. Is that an animal that we have in the game? Or is that an animal that we don't have? Is that is that feral goats? That might be what that is. I don't know. I don't I don't recall ever seeing that icon. Why does every storyline have a mission where you have to follow these? <laughs> it's like they're all the same thing. I swear to god, every storyline has a mission where you have to take down some kind of sign or a poster, follow tracks, take a picture of tire tracks. Ah, it gets repetitive. But, you know, we're doing it for the weapon skin and the uh, the game completion, I guess. And for the content, you know, just to give you guys something to watch. It's fun. I'm probably posting this on uh, Christmas. If I am, then Merry Christmas to you all. Hopefully you guys had an amazing day. Oh, it looks like a recurve bow. Like right Uh-oh, somebody's been... Ooh, somebody's been in here poaching. Damn, and they're a shit shot, too. Wow. Some in the neck, the shoulder, the right leg, or the back leg. Rip red deer. Take shelter at the Koechi Chibepita hut. Okay, we're gonna go here. And good thing I have that outpost ready, because I can just hit the fast travel button. What the hell? What are you doing here? <laughs> Must be one of the props from their movie they're leaving around. What the heck is going on here, dude? These missions are confusing. All right, let's go inside because we need to take shelter. Ooh, what is this blood? Inspect the mess. We got this uh, Legends of Zelda character here. Well, let me do anything else. There's nothing else. Inspect the mess. There's nothing. Guys, I think the mission's broken. It's broken. Uh, It says inspect mission. We're right on top of that dot. There's nothing. We're, we're standing right on top of it. There's nothing to inspect. No lawn chair stuff. Can't get these. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess the mission was just kind of glitched. So if you guys run into that problem, just close out your game and uh, come back. Interact. Boom. Mm-hmm. Ew. That looks gross. Baden. Why does everyone in every YouTube? Everyone in a every story mission line has the last name Baden. Okay, there's that mission done. Yeah, let's see what we're gonna do now. So, reach the Stone Castle Valley. Okay, we've been there. Inspect the movie set. Follow the trail of props. Inspect the tracks. Reach the commune and inspect the letterbox. All right. We're gonna head over there. Screw whatever the hell she's talking about, and uh, let's let's get into the next mission here. Man, it is absolutely storming though. Look at this wind. Jeez, it's coming down here in Tijuana. Okay, I think uh, it's just part of the mission or something, because I just tried changing the time to like five different times, and it's still raining. So it must be start must be part of the storyline here or something, because I've never seen it rain. Really? Did I tell you I like rocks? I like rocks. Guys, I, she likes rocks. Did you hear? <laughs> she likes rocks. Another mess. Our big wigs could have resisted this backdrop, and I can't say I blame them. Take a look. This is not a mess. 
Why would you want to clean this up? This is the coolest shit ever. Leave this on your reserve. Dude, a mat. I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed if someone, you know, left these on my reserve and was like, oh, we're going to we're going to clean them up. No, we're going to keep them here because it looks cool as hell. Okay, it's not letting me pick this one up. Oh, that's that's kind of weird. It's not letting me pick anything up again, guys. Being weird. I'm like right here on these objectives. Okay, you know what? It's 347 in the morning. That's going to do it for this episode. It's Christmas Eve. I don't want to lose any more brain cells before Christmas. At least I'm recording this on Christmas Eve. So if you guys did enjoy this, make sure you smash that like button. Merry Christmas to every single one of you. I love you guys very much. You guys have made my 2020 pretty dang good. In the next episode, we'll finish up this story missions and, you know, hopefully they aren't uh, all bugged to hell. Like right now, nothing's nothing seems to be working. So I'm done for now. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.